Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusilla Lachey, if you don't know already. Today, I am going to be testing out a blow dryer that I recently bought. I picked up this Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler, and I got this from Amazon for 40 buckaroos. I originally already had a blow dryer, and um, what had happened was, it was rocking with me for like mad long, right? Like 10 years long. And it was one of those blow dryers that had a detachable comb, so it came with several comb tips. Eventually, like they just started like breaking, and that's one of the things I don't really like about blow dryers that have detachable parts because sometimes if you're you know going through a knot or something or being a little bit more aggressive they can break off and then you have to like order a new part and that's what happened with my blow dryer I just decided you know what maybe this is a sign you know maybe this is a sign from God saying you need to move on girl I was scrolling on Amazon and I know I'm probably really late to the game right now okay but I didn't know that they had blow dryers that were paddle brushes. I love that idea because I naturally already detangle my hair with a paddle brush anyway. And when my hair does my hair and um, I'm getting it straightened or blowed out, she always blows it out with a paddle brush and a blow dryer. Now, anytime I try to do that, it's an absolute fail because it's very hard for me to like have a paddle brush in hand and a blow dryer doing it myself. Like I genuinely struggle doing that so the fact that I have two in one I just feel like my job is gonna be so much more easier I looked at the reviews before I purchased it of course and so many naturals were ranting and raving about this product so let's get into it we up close and personal now all right guys so this is how the blow dryer looks it's cute or whatever you know a nice big paddle brush head also a nice thick hangle hangle wow a nice thick handle that you know you could grip and of course this is the um plug part also has these settings on here that say off cool low and high so you can just you know adjust for now, I'm going to try out the settings and see how cool the cool part really is, how low the low part really is, and how high the high part really is. Okay, so first thing that I noticed is that the cool is cool, but it took a little while to adjust from when I had it on the low part to the cool part um but it eventually did turn cool and the low section is low heat it's good the high section child they weren't playing when they said high this is high heat okay this i could feel it so i'm gonna just um try it on my hair now i'm gonna try this first part with cool and we're gonna see what happens <sighs> I'm really liking the temperature it actually cooled down even more so I guess when it's going from hot to cool it takes a little longer to adjust but now it really is cooler than when I first tried it out but obviously it's not enough to really straighten my hair so I'm going to try it on the low setting now child we don't got all day all right this this will probably take me forever to straighten on low heat so I think I'm gonna up it to high but before I do I want to make mention of how much more easy it is to go through my hair with a paddle brush compared to the old blow dryer I had which had wide tooth combs fine tooth combs but it was detachable like this one is not detachable so it just feels like you're combing your hair except heat is coming out and on top of that it is so much easier for the bristles to go through than if you had a comb this is where it's at anyway on to the high heat okay guys so i'm gonna stop right there because i don't need my hair to be like excessively straight as you guys can see there's still some you know what i am going to continue because in the future in case i do want my hair really straight i want to see if it can do the job so let me just stop being lazy 
Random sidebar, I see that you are still watching. And since you are, you might as well go ahead and click that red subscribe button and on top of that i'm just gonna ask that you press that bell notification button so without further ado let's continue um something that i'm noticing that hasn't really happened with my old blow dryer is that there are like a little bit of strands that can't get straight but i don't know if it's because my hair is a little bit heavy right now because i have product in it but honestly i really love the way that this it's turning out the reason why it's not like flowing and it it looks heavy is because I do have a lot of product and I'm not trying to do like a silk press I you know I'm gonna be putting my hair away so I had to make sure I moisturized well but yeah I actually really really love this and um, just a little note for those who may be interested in buying this just be careful when blow drying and you know you put it on the high heat section because this part at the top starts to get really hot, so you might want to keep your hand further down. So I'm going to continue with the rest of my hair and give you guys my final thoughts. Hair is blown out after like a gazillion years. I literally forgot how much work goes into blow drying natural hair. Wow, I'm tired, but my final thoughts on this blow dryer. I give it a 3.7 out of 5, and I'll tell you guys why. The good thing or good things about this blow dryer is that the high setting is really high, and it really did help that the blow dryer has a paddle brush because it made for a pain free process in terms of like detangling my hair while blow drying it. My old blow dryer when I was using the comb, it was like nicking and tugging on my hair every once in a while, especially when there was a knot. So I did not encounter this because again, it has a powder, not a powder brush. It has a paddle brush and it was definitely a much smoother process when it came to that aspect. I gotta put my hair away y'all. I am hot. Ooh, okay, so yeah, honestly the fact that it's a paddle brush Really just steals the show for me I wouldn't say anything else really stood out to me except the handle being like a nice thick handle So that was nice, but speaking of handle This is why I'm not giving this item a five out of five So you know how I said in the beginning that this part of the handle starts getting really hot um, while you're blow drying um, at least if you have it on the high setting well um, Here's the thing because I have product in my hair and I'm touching my hair, um, I get product on my hand and it makes my hand a little bit slippery. So naturally, my hand just goes up, 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 and then boom, I'm back to holding the really hot part. And that was very, very inconvenient because I kept burning myself, especially my thumb, um, and that was not cool. And I had to keep like moving my hand down, then I'll slip back up, move my hand down, I'll slip back up. So I would have really loved to see Revlon add one of those um, heat resistant gloves to this blow dryer um, and one that has a grip so that my hand isn't constantly like so easily sliding to the top. After this experience, I sure will go myself and find one online and order one because I uh, do not want to keep burning myself. So yeah, guys, I would honestly still recommend it with also a glove. And of course, if I find a glove that I feel is suitable, I will leave it down below in the description box so that you guys can also check it out. I think this is a really good look for naturals, especially because I know that blow drying our hair isn't always a cakewalk, but with a paddle brush, it's definitely gonna be more pain-free and easier to deal with so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that it was helpful for you if you did please give it a thumbs up please do not forget to subscribe and turn on your b -b -b bell notifications before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video because you're gonna have your bell notifications on right all right guys bye